Now at four, demanding change. Four students hit on a crosswalk in Mountain's Edge since the start of school. How parents are now stepping in while they wait for action from the district. Plus, the man accused of a deadly stabbing spree near UNLV will be back in court. That's happening today. How DNA could play a vital role in this case. And we're tracking Hillary's lasting impact. The severe flooding left quite a mess up on Mount Charleston. Just how long until those locals up there could head back up to cool off? News 3 Today starts now. Four o'clock here on this Thursday, August 24th, as you're getting a live look over the city right now and all those bright lights lighting up the sky right now as we're keeping you updated to what you need to know as you head out the door on this Thursday morning. We thank you for joining us here. I'm Evan Schreiber. Kim Wagner has the morning off. Kelly Curran keeping track of your very early morning Thursday yeah. commute this morning. But uh, well, we'll start with meteorologist Chloe Coast. And before we look ahead, let's talk about those storms that rolled through and just how rough it was. Right. You, you mentioned the light show or the lights on the strip. We got a light show in the sky last night. Quite the Woo. pyrotechnics. Look at that. One of our viewers, Rich, sent this. We have multiple videos to show you from this wild weather. And can you believe we only had a 10% chance of storms today? Well, we were on the uh, uh, the other end of that. Look at that. Uh, as far as the Doppler radar right now, not quite a, of an active scene as we were uh, late last night. We had a half an inch fall on the strip, if you can believe believe it and damage uh, at some of the local casinos. As far as the conditions today, storm chances remain and we talked about remnants of Hillary impacting our area. Well, now we're talking about Harold. More on that in a few, but now let's check the roads with Kelly. Okay, and as you're heading out the door right now, no major issues here on I-15 at, at Flamingo. North and southbound are moving along just fine, but do be aware that there are still some puddles and slick spots out there. I noticed quite a few of those on my way into work, and we'll check back in again in about 10 minutes. Kelly, thank you. This is breaking overnight here at 402 at the live desk. Uh, at least four people are dead, including the gunman, and several others were injured in a shooting at a Southern California bar overnight as police responded around 7 last night. Six people were.